Finally tonight, does the name Maynard James Keenan ring a bell? It does to some music fans who know him as a three-time Grammy winner and lead singer of the band Tool. But as Karen Brown reports, Keenan is now testing his talent in another industry, far from the stage. It seems jarring to think that Maynard James Keenan, loud and raunchy rocker, can also be Maynard James Keenan, up and coming winemaker. Dolcetto, Primitivo, Rafasco, Sangiovese. Music fans know Keenan as the front man for Tool, a band whose albums have gone multi platinum, two of them reaching number one. Keenan most often sings of anger and pain. I'm just an imbecile. A world far removed from this vineyard in Jerome, Arizona, a historic ghost town. You're a rock star. You could just slap your name on wine and it would sell. It, it, it wouldn't be genuine. That wouldn't, that, would, that wouldn't feel right. We're creating art here. This is not, it's not just a commodity. And I can't know that unless I made it. If I can hold off releasing the 2010 till spring, that'd be good. What he creates are premium, high-end wines, his caduceus label winning over critics. Wine Spectator magazine rated one of its vintages a 91 out of 100. His tastings now draw both ardent wine connoisseurs and some of his hardcore music fans. Only probably the biggest genius in the entire world. His barrel room has also served as a recording studio, here for one of Keenan's other bands, Pussifer. How do you go from this mindset to that mindset in one day? Uh, drink a lot of this. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, you just one thing at a time. As for his pull to the vineyard, you might say it's in Keenan's blood. This is where I came from. My family, my great grandfather made wine in northern Italy. So in a way, I kind of found my way back to my roots. Here's the guy that's had videos pulled off of MTV, that's now making wine, that's getting married. You're growing up. Hmm. I better. I'm 47. It's time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I figure I should get it all together by 50. He may still be a rebel at heart. But the fruits of his labor are now something to be savored. <laughs> Karen Brown, CBS News, Jerome, Arizona.